Now you can also control the head. It goes left and right and up and uh, oh, oh, that's that's not good. Can't get you out of my What's going on everybody, Dragos here, and welcome back to some more Besiege. So, since we last played, they did update the game with major update number three. Now, the biggest thing this update brings is they changed from Unity 4 to Unity 5, which is the engine for this game. That means the game's gonna be a lot more stable. Uh, hopefully, the big creations, you won't have to play at such a slow speed. So yeah, I'm excited to see how stable it is now. They also added one more new block in the game, and that is the pin block. Now, this is going to add a lot to this game, but I don't know, honestly, how I feel about it. Because it's going to make machines just look so unrealistic. Basically, you can pin something wherever you want. It doesn't have to be attached to anything. And once you play, that thing will not move. You can see I am pinned right here. The game is actually playing right now, and it is just staying in place. And the final thing they added was a new god mode, which is infinite ammo mode. You can turn this on, and of course, just like the mods that we've seen before, you can just keep shooting and keep shooting. So yeah, that was a very brief overview of the updates for the game. Um, again, this pin is going to add a lot to the creation aspect of this game. I'm going to actually make a wall of cannons, I think, just to try it out and see if this game with the Unity 5 engine is able to shoot a lot of things at once without really lagging too much. Okay, here's the first trial, and immediately I'm noticing a change in the physics of the game. They did mention there's going to be a change. If you look at my wheels, they actually kind of bend from the friction of the ground, and they kind of like glitch out almost. But it still works, it still feels okay, just when you're turning as you would with a tank or at least tank controls, your wheels start to kind of glitch out. Anyways, I'm going to assume the recoil is going to fuck me over on this, but let's try it out here. Oh my god, that was just one shot. But there we go. Um, yes, definitely the old game would not be able to support this, and I am starting to drop frames now, but you can see the amount of freaking cannonballs on the ground is crazy. I wonder what happens in zero G mode. I'm assuming the recall, yes, is even freaking worse. <laughs> and then we hit the oil and start shooting more and more cannons. That's hilarious. And now we're going to move on to some of the best Besiege creations for this week. But I just noticed, like, we might have a serious issue here with these wheels. You can see I'm trying to turn, and it's not working. It's not, I don't think it has anything to do with this design. I think updating to the Unity 5 engine seriously screwed up the wheel physics. Well, actually, it probably made them more accurate, but that's no fun. Anyways, we are starting out with a dump truck, but not just any dump truck. This one has a unique load. So yeah, I'm just gonna dump this out here, and uh, we're gonna have some fun. Oh my god, I killed someone already. There we go. Yes, my load is little freaking grenades. There we go, and we're gonna leave, and then, of course, holy shit! Oh my god. <laughs> I got infinite ammo mode on, so this thing just keeps going, too. I should have probably remembered that there was a bomb over there. I'm not the smartest one, but we did knock down the tower as well, so success. Okay, next up I just want to try the uh, Duke's Plea here, but just because this is a bigger castle. Uh, these bombs actually don't do much damage, so I don't think it's really going to take this thing down. Alright, hold on, I gotta open up the hatch, there we go. And then just let those suckers fly out everywhere. That actually is quite a bit of bombs. Okay, we're leaving now, and now that we're far enough away, bam, there we go. Yeah, those, those those little bombs don't do much damage. We just pretty much hit that wall down. But we did kill most of the people, at least. And next up, we got a very awesome use of the pin block. This is actually a stress test for the Unity 5 engine. Uh, Besiege this made this floating railroad track really to just try it. Well, not only try out the pin blocks, but see what the Unity 5 engine can do. This is actually almost 3,000 blocks, and generally as a rule of thumb, when I was doing Unity 4 um, creations, I wouldn't go over 1,000 blocks just because I had to go at such a slow pace. You can see I'm at 100% right now. When I get moving, I'm still getting about 40 to 60 FPS. Uh, which is freaking amazing. This is three times the size of most of the creations that I generally do in Besiege, and it is running just fine. Now, what is this thing, you ask? Well, it is a very awesome track design, but it's also a kind of a little mini-game. Basically, we have another cart on the other side with bombs, and then, of course, I have some cannons here, and we can use the unlimited cannon mod to try and shoot these suckers down. So I'm just going to do a little bit of a drive-by here. That should be good, something like that. Oh! Oh, fuck, I almost got it first try. 
And I forgot to turn on the unlimited cannon mod, of course. Or, or sorry, unlimited infinite ammo mod. Okay, let's try this again. Oh yeah, that's feeling good. Oh my god! Uh, really? I hit the tracks with the damn cannons and it still missed it. Oh, this is going- this is good. I think this is good. Oh, yes, there we go, finally. Holy crap, that was harder than I thought. But yeah, like I said, this is more to showcase the stress testing of Unity 5, which is freaking amazing. I'm still shooting cannonballs, and I'm not really lagging at all. Like, this is just crazy. And next up, we got the U5 Amazon. This is a very awesome-looking helicopter-like creation. Uh, I've never seen the use of a wheel with grabbers attached to plane wings to be used as a helicopter, but you can see it is quite complex. We got four missiles on it. We also got uh, cannons right below that, so it is a heavily armored vehicle as well. Bear with me as I try and fly this thing. You guys know I'm not very good at flying anyways, but it does have... All the controls you would expect on a helicopter-like creation. Now, if only I could freaking fly these things, that would be great! In reality, it isn't too bad to fly, though. Like, I'm really bad at these things, guys, so I apologize. Um, but I can actually kind of control it for a little bit. I wouldn't be able to use the damn missiles, though. Oh my god, okay. Oh, well, I guess I can't control it. Okay, let's see if I can actually use these missiles. There we go. Oh, what? No, we're not even close. Yes, I hit it! I hit it down. Good enough for me. I'll never actually be able to direct hit it, but I was able to hit it down at least. Okay, I'm gonna hit this thing. There we go. Bam! Yes! And I'm going to crash now because I cannot drive this thing for shit, but at least I killed everybody. Okay, hello, peasants. How's it going? There you go. Good. And, oh, I already blew that one up anyways. But I'm finding you have to use the missiles before you use the cannons because the cannons get hit by the missiles, I find. Uh, but you can see, yes, there is unlimited ammo with the cannons as well. So yeah, a really good attack helicopter that I cannot fucking drive. Okay, this is more my style. We actually haven't seen a really decent walker in a long time. And this is definitely a decent one. Oh my god, look at the way it turns. I'm figuring it all out already. This is working amazingly, though. It looks exactly like an ATAT -AT walker. Also, it actually turns. This is some great engineering in here because I'm only holding one button. Generally, with walkers, you need to control each leg. This is just, I'm pressing up, and when I want to turn, I press left or right, and it goes in the exact direction. I've never seen a walker work this smoothly. I wonder if I can survive this bomb hit. Let's find out. I don't think so. Oh, 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 there goes a leg, and that ATAT -AT is hit the ground. Now, you can also control the head. It goes left and right and up and... Uh, oh, oh, that's that's not good. That's supposed to stay on there. Anyways, it's supposed to go F, uh, up and down, but clearly I popped my head off before I could showcase that. And, and I forgot, you're also supposed to close him up so it looks a little bit more realistic, but who the hell cares? The important part is this is a walker and it works freaking amazingly. Like, I can't make this fall even if I wanted to. Oh, wait, if, if, if I go backwards, if I go backwards, yes, he does not like going backwards. He, he has hit the ground. Let's see if he can do inclines, because there's not many inclines in Besiege. Why am I dropping? Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, he does, <laughs> he does not like inclines either. So on flat surfaces, the ATAT -AT walker is great, but anything else, you're pretty much screwed. Okay, we're gonna pay Duke's plea a little visit here. I wonder if I can walk right through the wall. Now, now, now people often ask, why do I always go to Duke's plea? Well, Duke's plea is one of the best places to just try and crumble a castle. You have nothing attacking you, so you don't have to worry about that, and you can just test your designs out. So, can this break walls by just walking into it? No. It, unfortunately, the moment it backs up, holy shit. Imagine being this poor soul who died via an AT AT Walker's asshole. Uh, but yes, unfortunately, the moment this thing goes backwards, it just totally loses balance and falls over. But yes, we can do a little dance on the ground. It's beautiful, majestic. I like how they're playing a song to me. This is very nice. Next up, we got the lion. This thing, I would call it a mouse. I don't know why it just looks like a mouse to me, but a very badass mouse at that. Uh, basically, we got a tail here that I have to attach because that's an added weapon. So this is a completely fireproof design. It is a beast to be reckoned with. Okay, so now that that is in there, I can actually just turn it up. And there we go. I have a tail now. Holy shit. Okay, it's a really springy tail. I have to I have to be very careful with this thing. But yeah, basically this is for the maps that you have to do things in the air, whether it be you don't break something or something, but you can like, stretch it and attack it with this thing. This is awesome. Now we also have two missiles on the top that you can aim. You can turn it any which way direction you want. And then of course you can shoot them. They go really freaking far. Let me see if I can just kind of tap it and 
Ah, oh, there we go. I sniped one of them. Now, now I'm gonna drop the tail off because the next thing I don't think I can have this attached. This next thing is the coolest part of this design. Now the back part of the vehicle actually unfolds out and this gives us access to six more weapons. This is actually kind of a glitch weapon. Essentially these things can just shoot out at like rocket speeds. You can see here that, oh my god, that was so damn quick. You don't even see them, but they do shoot out at ridiculous speeds and break pretty much anything in their path. And then if you run out of weapons to use, this thing is, as I stated, fireproof and it's got a nice little huge ass ram on the front to kill people with. Okay, we're on the Duke's Deer Freighters, and I'm just curious to see how useful this machine is. This is definitely a machine you design to beat all the levels. Now, this tail is going to be needed for this map. I'm just curious, can I actually hit something this high up? We're gonna find out. Okay, I'm just backing up in here. There we go. Now that we're inside of it, this is a really good design, too, because you can just get it right in the middle there, and then you just move it up, and it attaches right away. That makes it really easy to aim this thing up perfectly. And they actually designed, well, at least I think they designed it this way to make this thing legal. If you actually built this out of it, it wouldn't fit in the boundary box. But now that he put it beside it and you got to attach it, this vehicle is still totally legal. So now, as I stated, we are... Whoa. I was going to say we're fireproof, but clearly we're not bombproof. Holy shit. So clearly I have to kill some of these cows first. Oh my god, I missed him, really? Uh, I don't really have that much weaponry to kill cows. And of course I missed the second one as well. Maybe that was just unlucky or something. I didn't realize that a bomb would do that much damage. Let's go over here and try and use my ram to the advantage. There we go! That's, that's more of what I expected. And it looks like we got one more over here. Let's give him a nice little ram. This front ram is actually really good. Okay, I got my tail attached. It's really freaking wobbly. But this thing should work just fine. So let's just wait here and boop, there we go. That is so awesome. Adding this tail to this tank was the best idea ever. I love this thing. It's adorable. And I probably don't even need to. Yeah, I didn't even need to attack that one. I just walked right into it. Now this back one, there's a, a tall one up here. Let's go get this one first. And then we're going to get the tall one. Uh-oh. That, that's a piece of my craft. Uh-oh, it's, fall it's falling apart. I don't know what parts are falling off, but they are. Okay, and boop, there we go, another one down, one more to go. And my tail has of course fallen off, it's actually broke a bit. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this with a smaller tail, but let's try it out. Okay, backing up, and that should be good right there. I just got to lower it. Oh, no, that's not lowering it. Oh man, it might, it might not even attach to these things. Oh, yeah, I don't think, no, it's not attaching to it for whatever reason. Oh, there we go. Okay, I think I did officially attach it. There we go. It is broken, but it might still do the job. I don't know. We're going to find out right now. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's see. Oh, no. Come on, please. It's so close. Look at it just poking, trying to get to it. Oh, there we go. We did it. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I didn't reach the actual craft, but I did get the yak out. I'm assuming with the full tail, it might be able to reach it. It's still going to be really freaking close, though. And next up is a very cute mini drill turret. This thing is just a simple pivotal base and two drills and one bomb turret in the front. So I'm hoping that this can actually drill through this whole castle. I don't know though. I don't. That went right through the fucking middle. Are you serious? You didn't hit one part of the castle. Okay, let's hit the middle here with the second one because that was embarrassing. There we go. And bam. Oh, okay. So it does actually do a bit of damage, which is nice because I did try it in the sandbox mode and obviously it didn't do much damage at all. Now, of course, we got the bomb turret at the end there. So there we go. Oh, man, come on. I want to see more destruction. Okay, let's try this shit again. Now, that, that first one just did, it did, it didn't give me enough explosions. There we go. Good start. Oh, I want to go back there. Why do you keep leaving me? Oh, wow. It came back. It came back with some more vengeance because it hit out the wall as well. Okay, so there we go. Let's hit this one as well. There we go. That's what I like seeing. Destruction. And now I'm really fucking happy because it went so much better this time. Now, can I get this final one with the bomb? A am I lucky enough to do it? Let's, let's, let's get a different view here. Let's go over here. And is this does this look good? I don't even know. It doesn't... Okay. That looks good to me. Bam. Ah, shit. But my, but my drill. Can, can my drill do it? No, it did not do it. I am very sad. It's still going around, like, killing things. Like, look at this drill. This is a deadly-ass drill, but this, this little lucky bastard here survives another day.
And to end off with, I'm just going to showcase this ME163 because it's got a really cool propulsion system and it's also freaking huge, so it's a good stress test. This is definitely the biggest design I've ever showcased on the channel and we're going to try it at 50% and yes, we're doing it just fine at 50%. Now, the reason I like this mod so much is the propulsion system of it. It's actually scatter cannons. We got flamethrowers in the back of scatter cannons. Those get heated up and they start moving forward. So there we go. You actually turn them on and just by the recoil, this thing starts going forward. It's actually kind of falling apart as well. This is a very early phase of this craft. You can't turn or anything. It's just kind of showcasing that you can indeed use scatter cannons to even fly. Now, like I said, I can't turn and I can't even seem to get it to stabilize. We're just going to kind of do a flip here. But this is going to be a good crash at least. We have in fact stalled and we're going down. I cannot wait to see this crash though. This is a huge design. Yes! Destruction! It's always fun and that's why Besiege is so awesome. Anyways, guys, that wraps it up for another episode of Besiege. Now, next time, I'm actually going to try and design something that you guys suggest in the comments. So if you want to see me design something, feel free to suggest it in the comments. And if you are the lucky individual that I decide to try and design whatever you say, then I will put your comment in the next video. So once again, guys, thanks for all your support. Thanks for watching and liking, and I will see you in the next one.